Hi everyone. Stay calm. The police are in the house, but we are okay. I am here with Officer Greg Schwartz, and he's here to talk to us about what's been happening up on Vail and what a great job they've been doing keeping Vail safe. We have spring break coming up and we just had the Burton open and the Vail Police Department has been doing a great job keeping everyone safe around here. Maybe a few incidences over the weekend you guys were called on. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, everyone for the most part behaved pretty well this weekend. Uh, you know, we had Mardi Gras lead into Burton, and we've had our fair share of you know little incidents, alcohol-related stuff. But for the most part, uh, towns remained uh, uh, relatively well, well behaved. So. And now the spring breakers are coming in the full spring, force. The spring break crowd is coming. Yep. So uh, not sure what to fully expect here, but uh, coming off too busy, a couple busy weeks. I think I think we're ready for it. Yes, and um, you and I were just discussing some of the legal ways that um, people can participate in having fun and um, if you could just go over what are some of the rules about any type of consumption yeah. around the village. So, um, you know, we want people to come here and have a good time. We want people to leave here and, you know, and reflect upon what a great time they had and, you know, we want people to have fun but still be safe while they're doing it. Um, and a lot of people, you know, the, the tourism, you know, related to marijuana these days, you know, people are coming here and they, they know it's legal and they, they want to come and either uh, enjoy that or maybe just experiment with it for the first time. And one of the things that what I want to caution people to do is that, uh, you know, we have people who will come into town and they maybe they use marijuana, you know, 20 years ago. Well, the marijuana from 20 years ago a little different than the marijuana they're growing now. Um, and now they're also putting it in different foods and edibles and things. So. Um, just to caution people who, who aren't uh, familiar with marijuana to, to really, uh, if they're going to purchase it at one of the dispensaries, to really talk to the sales associate, find out the details on, on how it's going to react with their body, um, to read the labels if they're, if they're getting an edible, to actually read the label on how it works and the recommended dosages because a lot of people will, uh, they'll start ingesting the edible and it takes a while to kick in so they eat more and then they eat more and then they eat more and then a couple hours later they're really in a bad spot yeah. so we want to encourage people to to do the right thing and get as much information on it before they try it out and you were also saying that um, consuming marijuana or alcohol while in the village um, on the streets that that is not legal yeah so in 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 the town of Vale, uh, public consumption of marijuana is illegal um, and basically the way we define public consumption would be if you can be seen in public that's considered uh, if you're visible in public that's considered public so uh, if you're hanging out at the bars at night or uh, even on the well the ski slope is is federal property so that's different uh, that's a different ball game but the, uh, as far as being in town, if you can be seen, um, it is illegal to consume marijuana. So you can't step out of the bar and smoke marijuana like you would a cigarette. So that would be illegal. Um, we typically enforce a zero tolerance public use policy. So basically if we catch you in town smoking marijuana, uh, you're going to get a ticket and the ticket is a mandatory court appearance here in Vail. So you would go in front of our municipal court judge and uh, he would decide what the punishment or the fine is for that public use of marijuana. So, yeah. um, so we want to discourage that because we want to, you know, ultimately we want to have Vail remain a really family friendly place and, you know, we don't need, uh, it's just so obvious when someone's smoking marijuana in public because the, yes. the odor carries. Um, so we just want to make sure that, you know, it remains really family friendly, you know, at all times. Well, we appreciate how safe you make our area here. And I have two little boys who I like to let roam freely in the village. And you guys do a great job. So thanks for coming in yeah, and keeping bet. us safe. You bet. So coming up next, Laura's in the village.